Alright, hello fun and welcome back to my Skyrim Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Dust Adept Armor Mod, which is being made by user Fourth Unknown. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an absolutely amazing new set of light armor, in the form, of course, of the Dust Adept Armor. And this stuff is simply gorgeous and lore wise is supposed to be made for the dust adepts a group of mages inside of house telvani and it is well simply awesome looking and certainly does look the part for someone from house telvani and is a perfect companion suit of armor for you or well your companions to wear if you are role-playing someone from house telvani or soul steam or anything along those lines or even just being a general mage character because it looks amazing so let's take a look at what exactly we do get here and first where you find this armor and there are only two sets of this in the world that you're going to have to locate over by Telemithrian where at the sort of bottom over by the water there is just a rowboat there with a poor unfortunate dead dust adept wearing for some reason two suits of this armor both of which you can take so you can use one and perhaps give the other to a companion now as for the armor itself these things are well as mentioned absolutely beautiful looking and being light armor aren't going to provide you with a huge amount of protection but honestly a pretty decent amount with the boots giving you nine armor the cuirass giving you 28 the gauntlets giving you nine and the helmet giving you 15 all in all not that bad for light armor now as you can see here for the weights Again, being light armor, the vast majority of it is pretty easy, with the boots, the gauntlets, and helmets all taking up just one weight, with only the Kiros being a somewhat heavy, with it weighing in at 30 there. So not exactly ideal, perhaps, but honestly not too bad either. And for how these things look, they well worth it well worth the 30 weight on the chest plate for a light bit of armor that's actually going to give you some pretty decent coverage now with the looks of these things of course the vast majority of the detail as with most suits of armor in this game is all in this chest kiros piece but i gotta admit i think my favorite is the helmet it just it looks horrifyingly awesome <laughs> i don't know kind of like a weird mix between various, uh, you know, things from Solstein with that sort of normal armor you see over there, plus even a little bit of kind of Dwemer influence almost in it for me, and just all in all being really freaking cool, and very much matching the sort of lore, in my opinion at least, for the Dust Adepts who are supposed to be able to control freaking dust, which is kind of neat. Now, all in all with the armor, it just looks amazing let's just take a quick look at a few of my favorite details on this thing that make it in my mind well worth the trek all the way out there to Solstein to get this thing on the Kiros itself I do love the uh, necklace going on here a very nice look there just an interesting little bit of extra detail plus you do get some cool designs in the main bit of armor and even a very interesting little design on the belt buckle right there and even on some of the parts that you would think would need to be less interesting like these I'm assuming leather or chitin flaps you even got some nice work there and a um almost tartan kilt looking sort of a thing now not really a kilt considering it is open in the front but still from the back kind of does look it and I kind of do like that <laughs> and just overall it is a glorious cool looking set of armor Perfect for any mage character, especially, as mentioned, if you are role-playing someone from House Telvani or of that sort of ilk. And with two suits of it, you can, of course, wear one and either, you know, enchant it up differently from the other suit for different situations or even give the other suit to one of your companions so you can roll around Skyrim, Solstein, etc. just looking a freaking amazing 
And with the light armor, it is perfect for, you know, even any mage out there who just wants to look intriguing. So have some fun with this thing. Be the mage of House Telvani you've always wanted. And enjoy just a cool new set of armor. So if you'd like to take a look at this stuff for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!